Hello and happy gaming, everybody. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and we've got this run here, courtesy, um, courtesy of a guy by the name of Mr. Rogers, who had also helped me out with some other stuff, so thank you very much to Mr. Rogers for hitting me up with this interesting little challenge idea. And what we have here is basically we're decked out like a knight. We've got the Frost Blades because swords, Chaotic Rift because useful, Audra's Charge because shields, and Ice Spear because, hey, you gotta throw something sometimes and you just gotta go to floop. We're also taking the Sturdy Wooden Easel because that's gonna give us a, bit, give us a chance to automatically parry an attack. I was not given a... I was not given essentially a robe, a robe to use, so we're going with rule. And the way I look at it, just about everything I have here does strong single strikes. So we're going to try to deck this out in as much of a power build as I can, which means that if I find strong man's hammer, you better believe I'm in there. What are you? I've never seen this one. Gain a cursed relic at the start of each stage does not apply. It in, uh, in, I'm not going to take that risk. Alright, so what do we have here? We've got people who are either who are either gonna deal well with water or people who are not who don't care about it. We would have loved to have seen Zeal, see what she has to think about these icy weapons. And of course we've got Atlas on level three, so happy day. More having to worry about his poisonous plant life. Oh, you bastard. Okay, these buzzsaw things are really getting under my skin. Imagine if I was trying to do a if I was trying to do a pride robe challenge, I would have lost right there through no fault of my own. Ha! You think it you think the likes of you can break through my defenses? Ha! And ha ha, I say! That'll keep us from getting our attacks interrupted. Now, I'm, I know Hunter Stiletto seems like it would be the perfect choice here. I am not going to take it. Okay, so we're just spending all of our money right away. It's alright, it all goes to making the run better. But... Hello, birds. How are you? Uh, get out of here. See, that's why it's good to have a ranged option on a me on a melee-focused build. So that way you can handle things like that. Lancers are kicking my ass because I'm not paying attention to them, so that's my bad. That's once again me just getting really cocky. So, perhaps what I need to do is slow down and remember that, yes, I am good at this game, and I can continue to be good at this game without, without making stupid mistakes like that. There we go. Alright, more rooms like that. Less rooms like whatever the hell that other room was. I think they call that failure. I think you're right. Alright, so basically what we want is less failure. Okay, pretty sure I had the shield out, but maybe I had already hit my damage threshold. I don't know, all, it's, all I know is that this is looking like kind of a crappy run right now. Through no fault of Mr. Rogers, I'm just playing like absolute boo-boo. But cut me a little bit of slack. Before this, I was playing Shantae and the Seven Sirens, so I'm not exactly what one would call warmed up to more to difficult gameplay. If I had started off my morning playing like, you know, Sekiro, or Sekiro, I believe is how it should be pronounced. Oh, what the... Oh. 
Oh my. Alright, so... Yeah, I am openly admitting that I am not playing this well. But hopefully, I can turn that around with some good decision making. And that would not be good decision making. At least not in not in what my options entail. However, Thundering Chain does allow me a more another ranged option. An, a ranged option that works well off of the idea of ow. That works well off the idea of just straight attack power. And yes, it's not very knightly, but I don't know. Maybe just pretend I'm like Lancelot, and I'm just using and I'm using my natural natural inborn magic. He had that, didn't he? Anyway, let me a sip of my cherry limeade here. See, at the moment, I don't feel like one of the knights of the round table. I feel like... I feel like, a, you know, a shitty intern. Just a, just a lazy-ass squire. Right now, I'm... I'm not Lancelot, I'm not Percival. I believe... I believe I was the member of the round table known as Lil' Bitch. But we're gonna get... we're gonna get there. We're gonna do better. I can already see the tide turning. Get our spell back. There we go, now we're looking a little better. Alright. Like the man would say, push this advantage. Push on to the task's end. I'm not in anywhere near as dire of a straight. I see the calligraphy pen, and it's early in the run, but I also see the token of health. Hmm. Maybe what I need is just more money. You've got to have more money. Oh, there's the frostblade enhancement. Well, I can't say no to that. Now I just need to hope to find some sort of like amazing treasure cache so I can afford both the cartogra cartographer's quill and the ability to speak English. One of those you can't buy with money. Yes you can, it's called private tutoring. Shut up! Seems airy cloak. Yes, please. Just give me, give me a combo breaker like that. There we go. Looking good. Looking good. Ow. Well, looking good until right there, I should say. So one thing I have to remember is that Frostblade is a charge basic, which means that sadly against bosses its its usefulness is iffy. So what I need to do is instead of doing uh, doing the charge combo against bosses, I want to do the uncharged combo. It might do a little bit less damage per swing. But, I'm guaranteed to get a little bit more off of it. Also, I'm feeling really slow right now. 
I think that's just part of just having the Equester cap just constantly. Because every run, for like the last few runs, it's like, oh, here, have a horse head. Oh, wow! I love horse heads! Don't take that out of context. Ugh. I feel like this is going to be my better choice. I'm pretty sure I'm only going to be able to afford one. Let me let me take the one that's going to improve my survivability. There's any number of things. Oh, there she is right there. What in the world was that? Do I even want to know? I believe that's called glitchiness, sir. Yeah, I gathered that much. Yes, you take the token of health. Critical placebos, alright. Not gonna lie, I was hoping for the renewing potion vial, but at the same time, I'm not gonna be mad about critical placebos. That's still a really great bargain for essentially 125 smackaroonies. I'd say it's well worth it. Of course, now it just looks like everything is now comic book style onomatopoeia. And what are you? Reliable backpack. Increases max health for each defensive relic held. Well, I have two of them right now. And yeah, it's increasing my health by 60, so beautiful. Alright, now I'm starting to feel more like a knight. I've, I feel like I've at least reached the... Reach the level of Percival. I'm no King Arthur, that's for sure. Maybe, maybe you give me a really big sword and tell me that it was thrown at me by a, by a woman living in the lake. Then again, we all know that Salisy is the true wielder of the Excalibur. You all saw that episode of One Step from Eden, right? You know what I'm talking about. You have no no idea what I'm on about, do you? No idea. No, 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 no. I'll just stay over here. There we go. I am a true warrior, a knight of great renown, and I would always triumph, even with crappy relics and or even with crappy arcana like Ion Spike. Okay. I think we have just a little bit too much electricity. We need to try to find some decent wind relics, not relics, artifacts. There we go. I mean, as long as I have Ion Spike, let me use it for its intended purpose, but I'm not planning on keeping it. Alright! What is going on here with this Ion Spike? Hold on. Orbs now spawn a trio of extra orbs on targets they hit. Okay, so this... So this could be interesting, but... The delay on the Ion Spike itself means that means that it's going to be hard to get to work, but wow, that's actually really interesting. Yeah, what did you think you were doing? 
Oh, hello, Mirror Shield. Hello, fr hello, Lotus, fr lo yeah, Lotus Frost Stone. I'm gonna call it Lotus Frost Bloom. I was like, no, that's not right. These are both gonna be very helpful. It's just a matter of what do I afford, and are there any Arcana that I want to buy? So once again, let's wait on it. Oh, hello. You might be able to afford me a little something extra, but do I have anything I really want to get rid of? No, no I don't. Alright. What about critical placebos? You don't really have them. You don't really have a critical hit build. No, I don't, but point number one, having getting enhanced critical hit rate is useful, even if you're not running a critical hit build. Okay, so see, I want both of these. That may just very well end up being what I spend all my money on on this floor. So again, we're kind of hoping for a bit of a treasure cache. Oh yeah, that's that's the sort of thing that makes an operating system cry right there. It's like, I have to spawn what now? Oh Christ! Hold on! You didn't tell me all that, you bastard! I know, birds! What am I doing cursing so much? I'm such a terrible, terrible bird dad. Actually using Ion Spike. What is going on here? This is weird. I'm I actually using it. Like not uh, not like ironically either where it's just like Ion Spike. Am I right? No, I'm actually using it. Like, I'm kind of surprised. That's Water Pulse Agent. I was about to say, if that's Bubble Slaps, I'll take that. Except for that time I missed completely, so... I was trying to hit them hit them with it, and it's like they were going, Hey, too slippery for you! What's the matter? Can't hit a guy covered in oil? Like, gee, ironically, that does make you a bit slippery. <laughs> yeah, you heard the one about the cactus thief? Heard he was a prickly customer. Wait, did they seriously just plat deplatform themselves? I know what the, I know. The word I was looking for is, did they just jump off the cliff? But for some reason, that wasn't coming to mind. I think Mirror Shield is my best bet. See, now I feel now I'm like a double knight. I've got a, two swords, a spear, two shields. on here? Why am I using Ion Spike? What is going on? I mean, it is possible that they made Ion Spike good and it's actually kind of okay to use now. <sighs> Poppycock. I remember when I remember when this game first came out. Ion Spike was an embarrassment to everyone involved. Just, it didn't do anything. It wasn't. It wasn't worth. It, it wasn't worth the ink and tag board it was printed on, Iris. Get out of here. 
you get frozen against the wall. Now here I am going, oh, Ion Spike, let me use that now. Bring an Ion Spike, I'm actually really surprised with myself. I'm, I can't tell you how much I hated Ion Spike. Like, it was... <clears throat> Like, before Engulfing Fissure became the greatest joke of the, of at least the community that I've spoken to about this game, I remember it was kind of the laughing stock. It's like, why would you use Ion Spike ever? Now here I am going, hey, I like me some Ion Spike. Look at that. I put down one Zappy and I get multiple Zappies. Okay, I'm seeing how it's working, and I gotta say, I'm actually rather pleased with it. This is a new day for Ion Spike, where it's actually worth a damn to pick up and use. But does it give you hope that they'll eventually find out how to... That they'll eventually find out how to do Engulfing Fissure? <laughs> I'm pretty sure the people at Contingent 99 can't work miracles. Alright, so right now, Combo Gloves and Jade's Chakra Locket are what I'm looking at. Chakra Locket for survivability, Combo Gloves to do more of the Swordy Sword. You mean, you mean to throw out more slashes with the Switch? Oh, he won. He just walked through it. You bastard. Why are you immune to knockback? You're not fun. Right through the attack. Oh, that does lock you in place. I was trying to dodge out of the way, and the game was like, what was that? And it was like, I'm trying to dodge the attack, and they're like, oh no, I thought you used that, so you're going to sit there and take it. Wait, do I have an option? Do I have a choice in this? No. Do I, do I get to make an appeal? No. Do I have a say? No. Hold on, I just remembered something. Let's not do this the hard way when we get other methods. Thank you. Okay, we've got lots of defensive stuff. I would like to see I'd like to see something to improve my damage. Yeah, Bird has the right idea. Fly around and squawk loudly until hmm? until you get what you want. Good bird. Singing bird. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam. Oh, not that kind of singing? Okay. Where the deer and the antelope get speared. Where seldom is heard a disparaging word. And your thundering chain hits a wall. Oh, don't yell at me. At least I'm coming up with lyrics. <laughs> now, I'm pretty sure if I find a Chaos Gem, it will still trigger the Chakra Locket. It'll just then get transmuted into gold. Look at that. Oh my goodness. It's like they took it's like they took their original idea and, you know, actually did something good with it. Okay, Thundering Chain, why do you have this affinity to walls? Why do I have this affinity to walls? There, no more throwing attacks into walls. 
Throw them into things that are going to feel pain. You know, like uh, like my enemies, or or you know, my my fragile, fragile ego. See, that's what you're supposed to do with things. Um, have I hit the entire? Oh, well, except for like a miscellaneous like five tenths of a percent. But oh well. By the time I get to drop that, it actually does something. And yes, give me the combo gloves. Now, I know my health isn't looking great right now, but that's mostly because my health has been steadily going up. My maximum health has been steadily going up, and I haven't found anything to really get me back up there yet. So what I need to do is stop taking really stupid damage. And you're going to use your Breaking Twist. Oh, no, you're not. Thank goodness for Mirror Shield. Now you're going to use your Breaking Twisters. Now I know you're going to set up for your ultimate. Not a bad fight at all. And lastly, we've got Mr. Atlas. Ooh, we got to fight with Mr. Stormdraft. Stormdraft is going to be an interesting one, because what that's going to allow me to do is just knock guys into walls to do damage. So we'll see how it works out. We'll get to see it right there. Come on, you guys don't have that much health, go away. Haha! -ha! Fear me, for I am a brave and courageous knight! And of course, I have to deal with elemental summoners, so, you know, rip me. Movement speed. I could always use more movement speed. Simultaneously, I could also use something that lets me do more damage. Whatever whatever happened to, you know, like being able to do good damage. I'm going to wait until the end of the trial, because if Iris is selling a decent wind-based spell, I want that. And it's not that Storm Draft isn't good, it's just, you know, it's just, I've... Oh, I've seen better. Just saying. Then again, 23 damage per per storm draft ain't bad. Okay, the fucking earth earth lancer is really getting under my skin here. Oh, and you can just randomly jump and evade all evade all damage too. God. Yeah, not cool. Not cool at all. Oh my God! I hate Atlas's level so much on level three. 
They get to throw multiple knockout boulders for unnecessarily ridiculous damage. The Earth Knights get to reflect your projectiles and just become randomly invincible because Hatton. Because Hat, wouldn't that be funny? So the chakra locket is indeed do working as intended. I'm just kind of getting my kind of getting my ass whooped more than I'd like to admit. I am also trying to get my work done with the most average, <laughs> with maybe not the most average, but some very eh gear. Oh, what? They can attack through walls? Wow, Earth Lances are like the most unfair enemies. Like, this is absolutely not right. And they get a super long range lunge attack. Seriously, who looked at the design docs for those enemies and thought it was okay? At level 3, they are just stupid. Wait, what? I had the shield out. So now, and. What is going on here? Why do I suck? Like, seriously, what is. Why am I terrible? Well, I know one thing that'll help. Give me the Tidal Blast, that has a shield too. We're just gonna... Here, we're gonna do that. I don't care if it's a wind spell, it's not helping me that much. And I need this now. Ugh, I'm doing so poorly. Like, to the point where I kind of feel, where I'm, like, feeling bad for myself, but I also know that I can't because I've got other shit that I need to worry about. Here we go. So here's what I can do. I'm not... I'll just charge is part of the challenge, so I'm not dropping that. But if I give him something else, like, what's going to end up getting taken? Probably Thundering Chain. But I'm using Thundering Chain. Shit. Never mind, this is a bad idea. Alright, well, let's hope we don't get one of the worst bosses. Oh, um, actually, that's not terrible. Okay, there. Somehow managed to make it through that mess. And I think... I'm just gonna come back for Mercury Sandals, because once again, movement speed is important because it allows you to re 444 damage? What in the world? Okay, we can't... We can't stand idly by and be taking that amount of damage, not if we want to be a brave and courageous or knight. Yeah, Dark Sage, I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Brave and Courageous Knight. Yeah, tell that to eh? tell that to mid-80s Capcom.
Oh. I'm dumb. I was casting the wrong spell. I hate Earth-based summoners. Matter of fact, I hate elemental summoners just in general. This Atlas level 3 just kicks my ass so hard. Hello, adorable mimic. Okay, that helps. Alright. Problem is, I kind of feel like I need everything here, and strong, a strong man's hand. You're a little late, buddy. You are a little late to the party, friend. That's been my bread and butter. I can't get rid of that. I don't know. There isn't a whole lot here that I would sacrifice for an adorable Mimic at the moment. Mostly because I kind of feel like I need my defenses because this run has been kind of flipping me around and spanking me pretty hard. Oh, I see something. I love Knockout Boulder, but I dare not. Bouncing Bubble, on the other hand, that will help. As much as I would like to be able to upgrade it, hey, you gotta have something to control with it, to control Sura's minions with. I know the thought process is, <laughs> let's see if you even make it to Sura first. And, you know, you're, you've got a point. It's even see if I can get that far. And maybe part of the problem is I'm not using Aegis Charge enough. Maybe I need to be raising my shield a little bit more. You know, in comparison to my sword. I'm still relatively confident that I'll win, but it's a win that's kind of slapping me around a bit, making me question my ability. Not to say that I should always be perfect and I should never be hit by anything, but... And uh, no. Surprised that hit me through the Tidal Blast barrier. Get out of here! Ain't got time for you. Uh, uh, no, no, go away. The other thing you have to remember is that when you're not getting a lot of offensive help with your run, basically what you're working with is a run where you've just been blessed with the ability to take more hits. And it's not to say that you're impotent when it comes to your offenses, but I definitely feel like I've been slowed down. In the last few runs, I've found some really good relics that have helped me keep that have helped me keep the pressure up. In this run, not so much luck. I've found plenty of relics that have allowed me the ability to take some pressure, but none that have, none that I feel really have done a good job of allowing me to lay on the pressure. We're gonna lead with Aegis Charge this time. Oh, look at that. I 
And sadly, that's about all I've been finding, with the exception of... With the exception of right here at the end. Okay, so... Now, let's sacrifice a few things to... Okay, so here's the things I'm not sacrificing. There we go. Extra 15% will work wonders. At least I'm hoping it will, because this whole fight is just him filling the battlefield full of crap and making it hard for me to, you know, walk. But then again, you try walking in an atmosphere that's about, you know, 40 to 60% fire and see how well you do. Okay, give me that. There we go, we're back to maximum health. I know that as a brave and courageous knight, I'm supposed to be, I'm supposed to be fine handling the pressure, but I feel like I've been asked to handle a bit too much pressure. Ow. Play it smooth. There's no need to be worried if you're playing it right. Ah, oh, okay, good. Done with Atlas's bullshit level. <sighs> Game Y. Why? Okay, I'm gonna real quick show you people why I feel this 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 Arcana is a joke. Ready? Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. And lately, the game has just been having a field day, just giving me that. Like, yeah, you know what to do with it, don't you? And my real, honest to goodness answer is no, no, I don't. Why are you giving this to me? What? <laughs> What cruelty have I wrought upon thee that you feel as though this is a good thing to do to me? Throw it at Captain Biggs. That was a badly timed Odd's charge. But then again, I didn't even know those guys were coming into attack, so, you know. Alright. Yeah, extra 15% damage for whatever reason helps me out. There we go. That's what I expected. Alright, cool. Now let's see if we... Yes, we'll take the... Oh, there's bubble slaps! God, why'd you wait so long? 
Alright, give me that. We are going to do that. I have room for two relics. Anything here would be useful. Okay, mostly just because I don't know what else I'm going to do with it. And, uh, yes, because I have two relics, there are two arcana that are going to be boosted by that. Alright, cool, we're ready. At least as ready as I'm going to be. Immediately with the line, with the null, with the null flash agents. Like, seriously, dude. Oh, that was smart. You know what I'm in the mood for? A good humor strawberry shortcake bar. I don't know why. what made me think about that. It's just, actually, I do know what made me think about that. The last time I went, last time I went out to run errands, I had to go to... Birds. Come on, I'm trying to tell a story here. But did Cecil commit the crime of going back into his cage to get something to eat? Yes, he did. Oh, oh goodness. How, how dare anyone think for themselves, right, Riku? How... How dare anyone decide that they want to that they want to take care of themselves? No, it's gotta it's gotta be all about you, right? No, get away, get away. But no, the last couple of times I've I've gone out to run errands. I've had to go to I've had to go to Walgreens to fill my prescriptions, and every time I've gone there, I've just kind of looked around because I've had to kill some type bird. Calm it down, Jesus. Yes, you're being a jerk. You are being a jerk. I'm sorry, but you're being a jerk. Quiet. Can you live without someone giving you attention for just a minute? God, it's okay for me to record a video. It's okay for Cecil to get something to eat. Hey, stop being such a diva. Hey, you're making me you're making me reprimand you while I'm recording. You know what kind of a dick move that is for both me and my viewers? Come on now. You be good. You be good. All right. Anyway, so what? What I can so last couple of times I've gone to Walgreens, I've had to fill some prescriptions, which meant I've had some time to kill. And just about every and just about every time I see that they have these packages of good humor strawberry shortcake bars. And as a diabetic, I figure, okay, let me let me look at the carb content on these because these are probably akin to suicide by ice cream. And actually, they're not that bad. So I find myself going, all right, next time I go out to get some groceries, I'll get some because I'm kind of hungry for them. And, you know, I could use a snack. By the way, 45-minute run? Come on, this run was not that weak. I just didn't find anything to boost my damage at all. But anyway, I... Go to the grocery store yesterday because I had to actually get some food, and I figure, all right, as long as I'm here, let me go check for those good humor strawberry shortcake bars. And for whatever reason, they're not, they weren't at the grocery store. Go figure. Like the one place you figure you would go for a you know confectionery treat, no confectionery treat, and there there were other things, but not that. And it just left me feeling a little bit empty and going. I really want a strawberry shortcake bar. I know, not much of an anecdote, but hey, it was something I could share with you at the end of the video. <laughs> Hopefully it made up for me trying to reprimand my birds, but thank you very much for watching. I enjoyed doing the challenge. I didn't necessarily enjoy getting all defensive relics and having, like, no damage boost at all, but hey, sometimes that's just how the cookie crumbles. You just gotta be ready for it. So next time you see me, it will 
probably be with a run of my own design, but if one of you wants to drop a comment and see if I can perform a challenge for you, then by all, by all means, let me know. I will get to it as quickly as I can. Once again, big thanks to Mr. Rogers for suggesting the Nightly Night build, and I will see you guys in the next video. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and I will be seeing you.